It's down to the nail, even on expression. Down to the nail. I don't know how I thought of that. Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're all having a fabulous day. And I don't know why I just put my hands in the air like that. I don't even know what I'm doing. My name is Danny Watt, and today I'm doing the TMI tag. If you don't know what TMI stands for, then you've been living under a rock. It just means too much information. Seems like just about everyone on the internet has done this tag, so I thought I would jump on the bandwagon so you guys can get to know me a little more, and I thought it would just be a little bit of fun to do on a Sunday after, it's Monday, on a Monday afternoon. I'm so in holiday mode right now, it's really bad. Basically what this tag involves is me answering answering random questions because who doesn't want me to answer questions that you don't really care about the answers to. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. That would be super, 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 super cool. Alrighty, let's jump straight into the questions. Herbin says alrighty. I don't know. Let's just, let's just jump straight into the question. Question number one, what are you wearing? Today I'm just wearing this blue um, t-shirt from Amazon, which is a surf shop here in New Zealand. It's very cute, perf for summer. And then I'm just wearing these high-waisted vintage shorts that I've just had literally for years. Congrats to me for getting dressed today because since it is the summer holidays, I'm usually super lazy and if I'm just spending a day at home, I will probably stay in my pajamas for the whole day. Question number two, have you ever been in love? Ooh, getting right into all the deep questions, are we? Okay, um, yeah, I mean, I have been in love Twice, I believe. To answer the question, yes. Question number three, have you ever been in a terrible breakup? To be honest, yes, I think I have been. Two of my relationships have ended in not such a fun way, you could say. Question number four is, how tall are you? So I am five foot four or 162 centimeters. So I guess I'm kind of just average height, maybe on the shorter side of average. Question number five is, how much do you weigh? So I weigh, Question number six just says, any tattoos? And my answer to that question is the same answer that Kim Kardashian gives, which is, would you put a bumper sticker on a Bentley, honey? Now I'm just mucking around, I'm not really that stuck up. I do love tattoos on some people, they look amazing. I just have no desire at this point in my life to get any, maybe in the future, I don't know. Question number seven is, any piercings? So I've got my ears pierced, but I guess that doesn't really count. I mean, every girl gets their ears pierced when they're like 12, I don't know. So yeah, I don't have any other piercings, so no. <laughs> Question number eight says OTP, which is pretty funny because here in New Zealand, OTP means on the piss, like getting drunk, getting turned, getting wasted. Whereas I only just recently found out that it actually means, well on the internet anyway, it means one true pairing, like what couple you'd put together. I seriously have no fucking clue. Question number nine says, a favorite show. My favorite show of all time would have to be That 70s Show and also Modern Family. They're just both hilarious and I could watch them for hours and just never get sick of either of the shows. It's so funny. Question number 10 is favorite bands. I don't know if I could just name a couple. I'm really into music. All time favorite bands. I really love the Red Hot Chili Peppers and the Foo Fighters. Also really into a lot of hip hop music and yeah, just a bunch of different stuff. Question number 11 is something you miss. And I'd say what I miss most is just being a kid and not giving a shit about anything. I just think that when you get older, it's a lot harder to just live in the present moment and just enjoy it. So I'm always thinking about the future and the consequences and what's going to happen, which isn't always a bad thing, but I just love being a kid and just not having a care in the world. is how old are you and I am 19 years old. Question number 14 is your zodiac sign. My zodiac sign is Capricorn and I really think that all the personality traits with Capricorn line up so well they actually match my exact personality down to the nail which is crazy. It's down to the nail even on expression. Down to the nail. I don't know how I thought of that. Number 15 is quality you look for in a partner. 
I'd say the number one thing for me in a partner is someone who's just generally fun to be around and has a good sense of humor so I can just get along with them easily. I also really like someone who's really ambitious and knows what they want to do with their life. Or maybe not necessarily knows what they want to do, but know that they want to do something great and make positive change in the world. Number 16 is your favorite quote. I really like the quote, dreams don't work unless you do, which I know it's pretty cheesy, but I don't know, it just kind of reminds me that like, yes, I have all these goals and aspirations and things I want to work towards, but I do actually have to put in the effort and the work to get there, so yeah. Number 17 is favorite actor, and I'd have to say my favorite actor is Leonardo DiCaprio. Number 18 is favorite color. My favorite color or colors would have to be, I'm gonna say like, blue and green. I'm just like all about the colors of our nature and our universe, just like the ocean and the forest and the beaches and I said ocean already and just yeah. Number 19, loud or soft music? Is this a trick question? Because loud music. Number 20 is where do you go when you're sad? I think it depends what kind of sad I'm in because usually I like being around people a lot so if I'm in a down mood I'll just go and spend time with friends and I'm always happiest when I'm around people. Although sometimes I do feel like being by myself and in that case I'll just go sit outside somewhere in a park or something and read a book just outside in nature. Always makes me feel a lot better. Number 21 is how long does it take you to shower? This entirely depends. On a normal day I'll, I can shower within about 5 minutes if I'm washing my hair and exfoliating and all that jazz, maybe about 10 minutes. Number 22 is how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Once again, that question is entirely subjective to where I'm going, what I'm doing, how much effort I want to put in. If I'm going to uni, I can get ready in like two minutes and yeah, I just don't care what I look like. I just want to get out the door. If I'm going out on the weekends or something, maybe like an hour. I don't know. Number 23 is, have you ever been in a physical fight? One time in high school, this girl did try to hit me. She was a bitch. Number 24 is, biggest turn on. That would have to be confidence. Confidence is just really sexy and also someone who just has like a really positive vibe about them. You know the people that you always just want to be around because you just feel good being around them? That is a turn on. Number 25 is turn off. There are so many turn offs. Probably one of the biggest ones is someone who's selfish and not caring. Someone who's really cocky or just like way too into themselves. That turns me off. Number 26 is the reason I joined YouTube. The reason I joined YouTube was because I thought it would just be quite fun and I have a lot of life wisdom to share with you guys. No, just kidding, but um, I guess I just always feel like I have a lot of random stuff to talk about, so why not talk to you guys? Number 27 is fears. I would say my biggest fear is probably not being happy and just not content with my life, like getting to like being like a 90 year old and being like, oh, I wish I did this and just like having regrets. Number 28 is the last thing that made you cry. When did I, oh, okay. The last thing that made me cry was a boy. Do not cry over boys, just do your squats and make them cry, wishing they still had that ass. Number 29 is the last time you said you loved someone. That will be last night to my mummy. Number 30 is the meaning behind your YouTube name. The meaning behind my YouTube name is that one day my parents got together and then I was born and they called me Danny Watt. It's just my, it's just my name, so that's why. Number 31 is the last book you read. The last book I read was Girl Boss by Sophia, who's the CEO of Nasty Girl. Definitely recommend it. Number 32 is the book you're currently reading. Right now I am reading Paper Towns by John Green. Number 33 is the last show you watched. Yesterday I binged watch Orange is the New Black and I know I'm like the last person to watch it, but I finally got around to it and oh my god, amazing. Number 34 is the last person you talk to. It would have to be my friend Ashley on Facebook. I don't know if that counts or not. I don't know what accent I'm doing right now either. Um, but I messaged Ashley just before, so yeah. Number 35 is the relationship between you and the last person you texted. That would be one of my best friends. Number 36 is favorite food. Um, I don't have one favorite food. I love pretty much everything. Um, I don't know, maybe strawberries? Love strawberries. Number 37 is a place you want to visit. I want to visit a lot of places, but I'd say number one on my list right now is America. Number 38, last place you were. 
The last place I was out of my apartment was at the gym, which makes me feel very productive, even though I'm not really because that's the only thing I've done today. Number 39, do you have a crush? Maybe. Number 40, last time you kissed someone? Uh, a couple of days ago. Number 41, last time you were insulted? Um, can't really think of when I was last insulted, which is a good thing. Oh, someone told me that I talk too much. I don't know if that's an insult. Number 42 is a favourite flavour of sweet. In New Zealand we call them lollies, although I would say my favourite sweet thing would be chocolate. One favorite piece of jewelry. I really do like one of my rings though, but I don't have that with me at the moment. Um, I'm really digging this Karen Walker little charm bracelet thing that my mum very kindly brought for me. Number 45, last sport you played. Does gym count as a sport? I don't know, otherwise maybe horse riding would have been the last proper sport I've done. Number 45 is the last song you have sung. Is it too late now to say sorry? Number 47 is your favourite chat up line. I really like this one, I don't know if it's really a chat up line, but what you do is you count shoulders with the person you're with. So I'd be like, one, two, three, and four. And you got your arm around them. Number 48 is have I ever used it? No, I haven't tried it out, but I think I will. I think it'll be pretty smooth. What do you guys reckon? <laughs> Number 49 is the last time you hung out with anyone. That would be yesterday I hung out with some friends. Number 50 is who should answer these questions next. I think you should answer these questions if you've got a YouTube channel. Go ahead and make the TMI video. It was a ton of fun to make. Otherwise, maybe leave in the comments section below a random fact about yourself or maybe the country where you're from so I can learn more about you. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching the whole thing and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a sweet day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!